All right, hello everybody. So I thought I would do just a little overview video of gear. I get questions and people ask me, what are you using? Just like people ask that question of everybody everywhere. So I have this funny kind of expression and my friends know it. Um, I say, I'm gonna call myself Paddle Tail Mike. I am kind of the king of the paddle tails. Um, my gear is so simplified that I don't have to keep a lot of it around. Um, the paddle tail is really, I think, one of the most useful weapons in your arsenal. Um, should you choose to use it, they come in every shape and size imaginable. Uh, it probably represents 99% of what I actually throw is some version of the paddle tail. Um, so here is here's the setup. You've seen that before. Um, this is what actually goes with me. So all the people who talk about what kind of storage you need, I keep the one Plano on one side and the one on the other side, and then one underneath. Okay, this is what's in them. One Plano contains spare little paddle tails, a couple diving crankbaits, a couple frogs just in case, a couple little spinners. I hardly ever even touch these things, and maybe another crankbait or two. That's it. That's the entire case. Okay. Hardly ever touched that one. Notice there's a spot open. The other case, I keep them all rigged up. These are my paddle tails. Um, unweighted, weighted, different colors, different shapes, shorter ones, longer ones. You know, usually what I have is short, like three and a half inch, and longer is four and a half inch. Uh, but some of them are on weighted hooks, some unweighted. Okay? That's it. Those are the two planos that I carry on either side of my kayak. Okay? Now, the other thing I carry is just one little box. This is the one that goes underneath my uh, seat of various hooks. Just kind of learning lessons over time, the ones I like. Um, I try to keep their, their labels in there, as you can see. Um, Various sizes, weighted, unweighted, offset, spring lock hooks. That is the key. That's what I use for everything. So what do I throw? So this is what's actually hooked up and pretty much my go-to. So you'll see this one on many, 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 many videos. That's a four and a half inch, weightless. Got that rigged up on one. Just gonna... Just switch around the camera a bit so you can see a little better. Um, on the other, this is a version of weightless, I mean weighted, and it's got a little trailer on it. Pretty much the same paddle tail still. I use a lot of the same colors even. Um, in the off-season, I picked up this cool product. Uh, I'll see if I can link it in the description. It's a multi-pack, and what it contained was a whole bunch of these, uh, like 10 of these, the spinners. So you can individually put them on your setups as you want. The you know, little piece you can I can hook my paddle tails on here. That's what this one is. So paddle tail on one side, flasher on the other. Um, and then these ones are kind of cool too. It's a little rubber um, piece that hooks onto your hook and turns it into a flasher. So this is literally it. Every video you see of mine, that's one, one pole, the other pole, um, what brands, whatever's the cheapest. Most of these are called Echo Pro from Cabela's um, or I like to use the Yum Pulse. These ones are four and a half inch. That's what that is with the trailer. So I visited my local green bag store, if you know what that is, Cabela's, um, and I came across the next big thing, literally. So I'm going to give this a try. That's what I have all my reels done up with. Godline, uh, 20 pound. Those are my three setups. So after much slack that I've been getting from folks. I said, you got to throw bigger baits. Well, I found a couple, so I'm going to give them a try. So they had 
six inch paddle tails that I'm going to give a whirl. These things are huge to get an idea. So compared to the the others that we've got there, I know it's white on white here, so sorry. Um, so these things are monstrous. So I got the larger hooks with them, some 6.0 hooks. Um, this is a four and a half inch. Give you an idea. The girth of these is, is pretty impressive too. Six inch with the 6.0 hooks, weightless. So now I have this rigged up. So that's setup one, setup two, and setup three. Um, so really simplified, three boxes under the chair, one on each side of the seat, and I catch everything under the sun with those. So if you haven't tried paddle tails, give them a try. They're fun. They catch everything. I catch pike, pickerel, largemouth, smallmouth. Anything that's out there biting will, will go after them. You just got to slow it down a little bit or speed it up a little bit. So. Uh, hope you enjoy. That's kind of my tackle overview. Um, and if you have anything else you want to see, let me know. Thanks. Take care, guys. GoPro stop.